guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, plant-based weight loss, and today is Wednesday, and that makes it weigh in Wednesday, and that's the day that I come on here and I make a video and I tell you how my week's been going and how my weight's been going, and I check in with you, and that holds me accountable, but it also gives me a chance to uh, connect with all of you. And I had an awesome opportunity to connect with a lot of people who watch my channel this weekend because I was at Chef AJ and John Pierre's Ultimate Weight Loss Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Tuscany Resort and uh, Hotel. And it was incredible. And so I want to tell you all about that. But... I feel really bad because I wanted to bring you, you know, a lot of interviews and stuff just as it happened, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi at the hotel just was not letting me upload any of my YouTube videos and all I had brought to record was my phone. So I did one awesome interview and I'll tell you about that in just a second, but then my phone was all full and I had no way of um, uploading it to get it off the phone so I'm sorry so what I'm gonna do instead is I took a lot of notes and I'm gonna go over the parts of the conference that I thought were really awesome and just tell you more about the conference itself and so there you go um, the interview I'm gonna do the that you're gonna get on Friday is from a lady named Laura from Wisconsin Laura is amazing. Just to kind of whet your appetite, she has taken off over 80 pounds eating whole foods, plant-based, SOS free. She eats very much like I do. And she, but even more impressive to me, she, not only did she get down to her goal weight, like I think she said she's 103 pounds, um, so she's tiny, but even more impressive to me, she reversed fibromyalgia that she had had for a very long time, rheumatoid arthritis, depression. She has such a hopeful, uplifting story that I can't wait to share it with you. So please tune in on Friday and I'll give you that. I have to say it was a little rough, it's a little bit of a rough video because again, I, I tried to upload it while I was um, at the Tuscany and I didn't have my editing equipment. So I hope you'll forgive that it's a little bit rough, but I think you'll really get a lot out of her interview. Um, okay, so I was at the conference, and last week when I weighed in, before I left, I weighed 148 pounds, and that was after a month of not weighing in um, when I weighed 148 pounds before that. So. Uh, uh, one month later, I was exactly the same. And then I went to this conference this weekend, and while the choices were really compliant, they were the way I eat, they were not, um, I was not watching my volume. And so I was really worried that I was going to be up this week. Um, so that's one thing that you have to think about. There's really two components for um, taking off weight, right? So there's food choice. And how I eat, just like a typical meal, um, a typical day of eating, would be a great big salad in the morning. I take a pound of greens, so the big family size box of greens that um, you can get of organic greens. And I'll put on that a pico de gallo salsa, so that's going to have lots of tomatoes and onions and garlic and peppers, all that kind of good stuff. I use that as my salad dressing and also just to add more veggies to my salad. Then I like to do fresh great, um, peeled cucumber from my garden and sometimes cherry tomatoes even though I already have tomatoes from the salsa you can never have too many tomatoes. Some grated up carrots, some grated up beets and I usually put a half a cup of some kind of bean on there. Today was garbanzo beans but it's just whatever I have around. And I do, I do kind of measure that out and just put a half a cup because I try to spread my beans out over all three meals so that my digestion is good. <laughs> and that's what I have for breakfast. And then um, a few hours after that, I typically will have some steamed vegetables. 
and I eat a lot of steamed vegetables, so we're not talking like a small serving or a bowl, but like a couple pounds of steamed vegetables. And some of my favorites are broccoli and carrots and cauliflower, or some Brussels sprouts, or I like asparagus, or lately I'm really into sugar snap peas. I'm loving that. I, I usually have them by themselves, just, you know, I like them just how they are. Sometimes I might dip them in some homemade hummus that I make myself that's oil-free, um, or some of my cheese sauce that I shared with you. Both of those are good on there too. So either way, um, I go ahead and have a couple pounds of veggies. And when you eat a giant salad and a big old thing of veggies, then you're full till dinner. And then at dinner, I'll have um, any of the recipes that I show on my channel. So I might have, you know, my all the beans chili, um, about two or three cups of that. Or I might have just like a sweet potato with some beans and cheese sauce and salsa on it. That's a favorite. I might have my friend Amy, who is Mrs. Plant in Texas. She makes an amazing Pueblan corn and red pepper chowder that has sweet potatoes. Oh, it's so good. It's delicious. So I might have two or three cups of that. The only thing that I ever watch like my quantities on is um, starch because it's very delicious and it's easy for me to eat past full. I can tell when I'm hungry. Um, I pay attention to my hunger signals and I don't eat till I'm hungry, but I still have a hard time after a lifetime of being, you know, a chronic overeater. Um, I have a hard time telling when I'm full and stopping. And so I don't let myself have more than like two to three cups of, of any yummy starch. But um, that's, that's pretty much what I eat in a day. If I'm hungry in between, I'll eat, oh, and also I eat fruit. I forgot about my fruit. I like to eat, um, especially berries and cherries are my favorite. I like blueberries, I like blackberries, I like pretty much any kind of berry, and I absolutely love cherries and pineapple. Those are some favorites, and cherries have such a short season that I just go to town <laughs> when cherries are in season, and that's how I've been eating lately, okay? And so... That's how I was eating when I was recovering for the month from my two surgeries, but I wasn't watching my quantities at all, so I was really comforted when I didn't um, put on any extra weight. I also didn't take any off because I was really sedentary, you know, I was recovering from surgery, but um, I didn't put any weight on, and so that was about, that means that I was the same weight for about five weeks, and I weighed in today and I was 148, so that's six weeks at 148. So I guess I'm definitely on a plateau, but it really doesn't surprise me because although the food at the conference was wonderful, they did such a good job. I was so proud of the Tuscany because, you know, of course they don't cook like this. This is not normal for them to do no sugar, no salt, no oil. But it was great. We had salad, we had steamed vegetables, we had potatoes, beans, rice, quinoa, fruit. It was wonderful. And none of it with any sugar, salt, or oil. And they just did a wonderful job. So the problem I had this weekend was not with choice. I always think there's two components to taking off weight. One is to get the food right. Like Dr. McDougall says, it's the food. You got to get the right, you know, whole grains fruits and vegetables. Um, if you use nuts or seeds or avocados, use them very sparingly, but you know, they're healthy fats. They're good for you. Beans and legumes, um, potatoes, all of those things are getting the food right, the choices right, and then you have to get the volume right. And so that's where I struggled this weekend. It was really yummy, so I probably ate more than I should have. And because of that, I didn't put any weight on, but I didn't take any weight off. And so just to think about that, if you're, if you're struggling to get the weight to move, think about, um, first of all, do I have the right components? Am I making the right choices? No sugar, no salt, no oil. If you do use salt, just use it very sparingly. I still am using salt, I'll just confess. But I am off of caffeine. I am off of all processed food and all animal products. 
and um, I do eat, you know, my food very whole. And so I'm proud of the choices that I make as far as what I'm eating. I still struggle sometimes with how much I eat and I struggle sometimes with snacking because I don't really believe in snacking. I think what Chef AJ says is right that if you are snacking, it means you didn't eat enough at your meal. So I try to let my stomach empty out in between meals and I do practice intermittent fasting where I limit the hours that I eat. And in the past, I have practiced intermittent fasting where they call it 5-2, where I actually water fast for two days and then eat for five. And I was doing that for a while for some health conditions, but I also think that contributed to how quickly I was able to take off how much I've taken off, which is 288 pounds. I'm on my way to 300 pounds off. Um, and so, okay. So back to the conference, I just want to tell you, it was, um, we had a meet and greet on Friday and I got to meet so many people, got to meet so many of you. That was incredible. I loved that so much. And then on Saturday, I heard um, Dr. Carrie Saunders, who goes by uh, Dr. Her website is drfood.org. And she was incredible. So I'm going to make a video about what she had to say or what, you know, and especially she did, I did a body composition, body index composition. B, I don't know. I don't know what the acronym is, but I did a, a, a test that tells me how much of my body is, how much do I really weigh and how much of that is bone and how much is of that is muscle and um, all that kind of good stuff. And she was incredible. I loved her talk. So I, I took lots of notes. I want to share that with you. Dr. Alan Goldhammer was there and he had some really great insights. So I'll share what he said. Dr. Lyle had some new insights that he shared with us for the first time that were like mind blowing. Can't wait to tell you about that. Um, and uh, of course, Chef AJ and John Pierre were both awesome. John Pierre did a boot camp for us every morning. And so I don't know if I'm brave enough to show you. <laughs> what he, I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to work out on camera, to be very honest, because I had, you know, I was having complications from surgery. I didn't actually participate in the boot camp, but I did go so I could pay attention because I believe you should always be learning. And um, I, so I took a lot of notes and um, I have to say a special thank you to my um, dear friend and a wonderful nurse, Kathy, who did all of my wound care changes. I had, you know, I had to take care of my incision and I was having some problems with it. And she did that for me the whole weekend, twice a day, twice a day for four day, for five days. She did that for me. So thank you, Kathy. You're a wonderful person. And my awesome um, other roommate, Karen, who stayed on the couch. <laughs> that was terrible. She's such a cool person. I just love both of them. I'm so glad they're here. I love meeting all of you guys. Um, I can't even say all your names because uh, there were so many of them. But you know, I, I meant every hug. Um, I heard so many times, oh, I'm going to tear up. I, you know, you do these videos and you do your, you share your journey. I had no, I had no idea. I had no idea that, um, I knew how many people were watching, but I didn't know that it was actually influencing people and that, you know, they felt like their lives were better for having known me. So that's all I want to do. I People are like, how can you be so open? How can you say your weight on the internet and how, you know, you're brave to share your journey? They say it different ways, but I know what they mean. They, they mean, you're crazy, lady. You come on there and, and tell all your stuff. And I do. And I do. But I feel like I want my pain that I've gone through to mean something. I want to leave the world better than I found it. I want to help people. I feel like it isn't about my little ego or my little how I feel about it. You know, it's um, we all serve the message. I want people to know that they have another option if they're very, very, very heavy and they need to take off weight. They don't have to get a gastric bypass. It's okay if they do, if that's what they choose, but there's another way. And 
you don't have to yo-yo diet and be miserable. You can eat a lot of food. You don't have to do those weighing and measuring programs. There is another way to eat where you eat a plant-based diet. You're going to be healthier. I've reversed so many health conditions from hypertension, high cholesterol, migraines, joint pain, chronic pain, sleep apnea, asthma. All those things are gone for me. My um, acne, eczema, my skin's clear. I feel great. I have no pain anywhere on my body. I've taken off 288 pounds. And so I want people to know that there's this other way to go. To go. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to hurt animals. You don't have to hurt the environment. You know, this is a way that makes you feel so good about yourself and you can live in, in integrity with your values. So I just, I serve that message. I want someone to be alive and playing with their grandkids because they saw one of these videos, found out about the plant-based diet, were courageous and strong and took those steps themselves because I know you can do it. I know you can stick to this. You've done harder things in your life than eat a clean diet, I assure you. This food will start to taste good if you can get used to it. So give yourself a chance to get used to it and consider sharing your story. I'm so grateful to Laura for sharing her story. I'm going to be interviewing some other people and bringing you those interviews because I want you to know that this is really true and I know now hundreds of people that have saved their own lives, been their own heroes, and um, I want you to meet them and I want you to have an awesome week. I will see you next week. Hopefully I'll be down some because I'm going to tighten it up. I'm going to just eat my three meals without snacks. I'm going to watch my volume and um, hopefully I'll have a really good week and I'll tell you about it next week. In the meantime, believe in yourself. If you've given up, no day like today to get started again. All right, take care, you guys. Bye-bye.